my belief and theory in life is to destroy or be destroyed. And I'm looking forward to destroy. He is undefeated in his professional career with 27 wins, no defeats, 25 KOs. He is the challenger, Mike Tyson. And in the red corner, formerly of Jamaica, now fighting out of Miami, Florida, weighing 218 and one half pounds. His professional record consists of 31 wins, four defeats, one draw, and 23 KOs. He is the WBC heavyweight champion of the world, Trevor Burpee. Any question from the challenger, Chief Second? Oh, Any question from the champion or Chief Second? All right, let's get it on, come on. How long his reign lasts? Mike Tyson kind of feeling him out here, but he goes with that right hand lead. Tyson will be able to get underneath it. Oh, wow, to the right, another left hook that just raises. Trevor with this bravado. Tyson clips him with a light left that time. You get the idea that Mike, as soon as, oh, a light right hand. Instead, Tyson will walk right through it. See this, Tyson walking right through. He's wild with the left hook is Burbank and Tyson. That is all oh, a left hook that really got him. That he has the courage, but this is a poor fight plan. Oh, the right hand gets him behind the left ear. Clips him with the left hand. Look at this, combination. And Burbank ready to go, but he stays on his feet. Another right hand, but Tyson. Tyson goes to work right away, and he gets Trevor in trouble, and he's down. He has the finishing blow. Crushing right hand. Wow, with a left hook, then a right hand right in the temporal bone, and he's in trouble here. Tyson has him under control. Left hook light, watch for the uppercut, there it is! We're trying to do all he can, but what he's not doing is holding off Mike with the left. And you see the, the rib cage. Instead he goes to the body downstairs, catches him with the right hand, upstairs! Look at these shots. 20 years old, Mike Tyson on his way to becoming one of the youngest heavyweight champions of all time. Bangs the body. Wow, with that uppercut is Tyson. She's that landed. He misses that uppercut. But notice it's all Tyson. Verbeck doing nothing offensively. And he crashes down. Mills Lane sends him to the corner. And look at the courage. Catches him with a light left hook. And he goes down. He goes down. He should be able to get up from this. His legs may be shut. They are. Again, his mind and heart want to get up. But his body won't allow him to. His legs are rubberized. Look at him. Mills Lane continues the count. Trevor Burbick falls back in the rope. I don't know if he's going to be able to continue. And it'll be scored as a knockout for Mike Tyson. And that's it. He's not ready. And Mills Lane says, no, you're not back to your feet. He's got the heart. But his body won't let him do what his mind wants to. And he's counted out. It'll be scored as a knockout. At two minutes. 35 seconds of the second round. The winner by a TKO and youngest and new WBC heavyweight champion of the world, Michael Tyson. In the red corner, fighting out of Magnolia, North Carolina, weighing in at 233 pounds. With a professional record of 19 wins, five defeats, with 14 KOs, ladies and gentlemen, here is the WBA heavyweight champion of the world, James Bone Crusher Smith. From Catskill, New York, weighing 219 pounds, he is undefeated in his professional career with 28 wins. No defeats, 26 KOs. He is the WBC heavyweight champion of the world, Iron Mike Tyson. Actually, Bone Crusher Smith, he looks even bigger than six feet four, and sometimes Tyson a little smaller than five feet 11 and a half. But so there we go then. Oh, 
just missed with that right hand there almost felt the, the wind of that at the Tyson chin short to be tested there's no reason to suspect he's not the iron man specializes in knocking people over in one round well the old bone crusher is not coming out throwing the punches as he did oh what a punch up right away the commentary position right against the ring apron doesn't he Tyson he doesn't want to stand and look at anybody the way he can duck and dive there And again there. Because even in the fights that went 10 rounds and only two of those from 28, he won clearly Tyson. Oh well, no Mr. Nice Guy in this fight. Round two. Well, I think Bone Crusher. And I'm not surprised the way they've been bumping and boring close in like that. Well, he found the target for that one. He's, he's been missing a bit with him, Tyson, but the left hook came through. Now, the referee is going to do something about this, I'm sure. Well, I don't think it's going to go to points anyway. In fact, I'm sure it isn't. It's amazing with Bone Crusher. It's as though he doesn't really want to be in there at this stage. It's really incredible. Well, as I said if he's hoping to let Tyson punch himself up that's a mistake and he wants to go on fighting this is really bad I can't understand why they're doing this oh now that right hand got through now they're shouting out don't who's complaining about something probably the way Tyson's head was coming Smith but it just missed the target again the age of 30 and I'm just wondering whether this could have happened to bone crusher because he's just not they're always saying in the Tyson camp that uh, this fellow uh, Mike intimidates his opponents and I think he's done it here there is another big right hand by Tyson throwing a few hard punches in the hopes of connecting and making something happen doing anything to win the fight by walking away like that we haven't come to see road work Tyson won't stay the course or fall apart that's a mistake because he's simply not working him hard enough to do that and the referee uh, has got to do something about that round seven There was a time in his amateur career when Tyson got mad at an opponent who he tried to almost creep inside in there, didn't he? Duck under defence. Oh, that's possibly the best punch he's taken in seven rounds to get through, and he's tried to last. Sort of ran out of gas and ran into a punch, and Bruno and uh, Smith won in the last round in the tenth. But this one's scheduled for twelve. 
Now he's standing and trading Smith. This is what we've been waiting for. And at the end of the seventh there, Bone Crusher Smith really unloaded some dangerous looking. We're calling out numbers in Tyson's corner there for the team in football here. That was more like it, but it still didn't rock Smith. He part them the whole time, and he's only a little fellow, the referee. Shirt buds battered. Oh, <laughs> that was more spectacular. You know, the photographer Mike Tyson undeniably well ahead, as particularly as twice the referee's taken points away. what it matters the three knockdown rule is in effect so one Proud. boxer goes down three times in a round it's automatically over as it was with bone crusher against him with a spoon great expectation for that one but uh, really it was only half a punch it looked better than it was great expectations of course because Tyson has set his own standards by knocking people out so spectacularly when it doesn't happen you get disappointed but with him for 12, this uh, unification of the heavyweight championship of the world. Tyson can draw Smith into a fight, into, but uh, Bone Crusher just uh, showing up some of the limitations with the young terror. Just standing there and trading level with him. And he's got more chance of landing his famous knockout punch. done well really these seconds in Smith's corner to keep that left eye uh, injury staunched okay well we're now certainly seeing uh, Tyson extended anyway because you say well I may not be the best uh, heavyweight champion that you've seen around but I'm going to spoil it for those who think they are I don't suppose it's a nervous twitch, but a habit that uh, Tyson has of first time in his career. At this pace, he could fight all night. He's, he's still running with a full head of steam there, Tyson, and between rounds. To the body, forget the right hand, Emil Griffiths has been telling him. Great throw, he does, and he comes straight ahead on rails at you. It wasn't to the body, but it was just below the chin. Referee's taking a chance when he gets in between them there. He really could catch a blow. So it was Tyson who must have heard what they were saying in Crouch's said before it's a bit like the dentist uh, being a nice fella on the way in before he's about to perform not the fitness or the youth anymore to be honest that's probably really is immensely fit Tyson that's for sure because he's still got a lot of spring in his legs it's both saturated with water end that much worse so I'm not surprised that he's still full of running in the last round judge and two from Nevada
badly for a fellow that's been learning his business at a gross five million dollars before this fight well when you think of Tyson's background he hasn't done too So there's the countdown clock and a little bit of play acting now from Smith. The course with you. And that was a hard right hand from Smith and he recognised it and I think Tyson did. And this will keep going at the after the bell. For the new well, WBA, WBC, a runaway points victory then, isn't the it? World, for Iron Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson. So he stood up to be the Iron Man for not going off his feet. There's a certain amount of disappointment. We'll show up tonight. Pinklin Thomas, just over 217 pounds. He hasn't fought in 83 days. Has an interesting philosophy. He says, I know what it is to lose. I know what it is to have. I know what it is to not have. I know what it is to be up. And I know what it is to be down. So there he is, Pinklin Thomas. And who will we see tonight? Coming in just in his black trunks, black shoes, no socks. This is the main event of the evening. 12 rounds of boxing for the WBA, WBC, heavyweight championship of the world. Introducing, in the blue corner, fighting out of West Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 217 and three quarter pounds, with a professional record of 29 wins, one defeat, one draw and 24 KOs. He's rated number one in the world by the WBC and is a former champion of that organization. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Pinklin, Pinky Thomas. And in the red corner, fighting out of the Catskills in New York, weighing 218 and three quarter pounds. He is undefeated in his professional career with 29 wins, no defeats, 26 KOs. He is the WBC, WBA, heavyweight champion of the world, Iron Mike Tyson. Here we go then, potentially 12 rounds of boxing in front of us here, Mike Tyson defending and reigning champion against Pinklin Thomas, the former champion. Okay, Tyson Thomas, you're going to box. Well, they've taken the man off the street. Can they take the street off the man? Avoid using any kinds of foul. Don't throw any punches during the break. Is that understood? Seconds come out fighting. Tyson's speed, energy, and power are legendary. Undefeated. Big left hook there, catching Pinklin Thomas twice. Paper records can be very misleading, but a cracking start here for Tyson. And again, a big left hook there for Mike Tyson. And when Tyson won the championship, beating... And this has been an excellent start for Iron Mike. He just can't miss Thomas, can he? It's all about intimidating your opponent very early on, letting know who's the boss. Just because Tyson beat Burbick. Well, another big left hook from Tyson. And Thomas in trouble in this opening session. Bone Crusher got a new nickname, Bone Clutcher. He just held on to Tyson for almost the entire 12 rounds to do the same. Oh, once again, Tyson landing some good punches here, and Pinklin Thomas in bother. He wishes he was back home in Pontiac, Michigan. And it's the loneliest place in the world, a boxing ring when you're losing. Tyson.
Oh, Tyson these days, of course, preferring to uh, lots of infighting here. Doesn't really suit Mike Tyson. <laughs> oh, nice bit of work there from Pigna Thomas, but it didn't last long. <laughs> this is what Tyson's good at. Faint in the jab. Again, good punches here from Tyson. Absolute venom behind those shots. WBC and WBA heavyweight champion against the former WBC champion, Pinkton Thomas. Tyson, as you saw, very sweaty at the beginning of this. He knows this is a very big moment. One thing, winning the championship. Oh, Pinkton Thomas cuts, of course, Graves on the left cheek. Oh, Thomas now getting the jab working, but once again, he just can't cope with this. Watch your head! The way he comes up out of that crouch with the left hook. Frightening. Replay there for round three, and I suspect the best chance really that Thomas has got as he lands a jab there is to actually try and catch Tyson coming forward. To <laughs> cheat and power, <laughs> he lost a bit of shine, of course, when he beat Bone Crusher for all these titles. So the inside game then doesn't really suit either fighter. Oh, nice bit of work there from Pigton Thomas. No. Oh, that's a decent ride from Pigton Thomas. So two choices really, you can stand there and slug it out with Tyson, or you can get on his bike, move and box. Oh, beautiful work here from Tyson. And he's still not winning this one. And I don't really think any fighter with the nickname of Pink should be uh, particularly feared in the heavyweight division, but uh, Pinkton Thomas is not a bad boxer, given the opportunity. He's got a degree of power as well. Tyson closing the gap at every opportunity, of course. Th Thomas has got no chance of using it. Youngest heavyweight champion since Floyd Patterson. A lot of the Tyson's opponents have been beaten before they've even got inside the ring with him, such as his reputation. Did the sensible thing there, just uh, held on for a couple of seconds. Comes out with a hook off the jab. Fill every inch of his uh, 29 years. I love the way Tyson moves his feet. He starts again. Oh, beautiful uppercut there from Tyson. Twisted in fantastically there. One of the best punches he's landed so far. And Thomas took it well. Oh, big sweeping left hook again from Tyson. And well, Pigner Thomas now taking punches without reply here in round six. He's in trouble. Beautiful work here from Tyson, and Thomas doesn't know where he is, except he's on the floor now in round six. Well, the first knockdown of the fight, and Thomas badly hurt there. A succession of concussive punches from Mike Tyson. And he won't beat the count. And it's all over, so Pinkland Thomas then counted out in the act of rising. And the first man to commiserate with him looks to be Mike Tyson. 
So successful first defence then of the WBC and WBA heavyweight titles for Mike Tyson. Well, a few sticky moments there for him, but a lot more sticky moments for Pinkland Thomas. Beautiful, beautiful. In turn, was crushed in two rounds by Tyson. And once again, we see these crunching punches from the champion land on the jaw. And that is a pretty emphatic knockdown. And when Tyson's in full swing, very hard to stay out of his way. And Pinkton Thomas was just like a statue here, inviting the punches to the chin. A very satisfactory win, I think, for Tyson, ultimately. As we see the action from the overhead camera. Two minutes of the sixth round, referee Carlos Padilla stops the bout. The winner by a TKO and still WBC, WBA, heavyweight champion of the world, Iron Mike Tyson. The attending physicians at ringside, Drs. Cliff Omansky, Donald Romeo, and Elias Ghanem. This is the main event of the evening. 12 rounds of boxing for the unification of the heavyweight championship of the world. Introducing, in the blue corner, fighting out of Houston, Texas, weighing 221 pounds, with a professional record of 34 wins, no defeats, 29 KOs. He is the IBF heavyweight champion of the world, Tony TNT Tucker. And in the red corner, from Catskills, New York, he too weighs 221 pounds. He is undefeated in his professional career. 30 wins, no defeats, with 27 KOs. He is the WBA and WBC heavyweight champion of the world, Iron Mike Tyson. Okay, now, here we go, now, protect yourself at all times. In the equation, Mr. Tucker is chief second. In the equation, Mr. Tyson, the chief second. Let's get it on, come on. As it were. And we'll see what kind of tactic Tucker takes. I had figured that he should at least tie his man up, try to frustrate Mike Tyson. But is he strong enough to do that? Now, let's see the uppercut almost immediately after the bell. He follows a right with a left and rocks Tyson. The first time we've ever seen Tyson really rock back like that. Well, that was a good right hand by Tucker. That might have been the best shot that Mike Tyson has ever taken right there. And no one gave Tucker a chance. We always felt that he was susceptible to take jazz, but I think what... That was a good example. That uppercut is going to do the job over and over again. Very smart thing to do. He really wants to frustrate Mike Tyson. There was a left hand by Tyson as a referee. No nonsense guy. Tucker with another left hook to the head of Mike Tyson. There was a good right hand again by Tucker. In close, catching Tyson on the way in. He finished with the left hook back. And Tony Tucker to get that hook and that uppercut in. It's better than I've ever seen him do. Tyson stops by a punch. Tucker said when we talked to him, he said, I'm not worried about what he's going to do to me. I'm worried about what I'm going to do to him. That's confidence. Another right hand. Frankly, I didn't think he fought that well, but it was against James Broad. Against Douglas, he fought a little bit better. And another right hand by Tucker. There was a left hand by Tyson. Again, a right hand, but he took a right from Tyson. And another big right by Mike Tyson. Did a very good first round for both men, and particularly for Tucker. 
and he's following up with the left uppercut, left hook. Led with the left uppercut that time. Just has to keep those hands high. Well, you know, Ray, I, I hearken back to your fight with Marvin Hagler. Where... Good body shot by Tyson. What Kevin Rooney was telling him to do in the corner. Tyson change. And another one. You see, this is what Tyson wanted. He wanted uh, Tucker to stand there and exchange punch for punch. In this case, normally, Tyson comes out on top. Get him up, get him up, Tucker, come on. Tucker appears unhurt again. Definitely has his legs back under him after being hurt earlier in this round. What a good shot. And Tyson with another left hand. He affected Mike's punches because he's not able to get his punches in there. He initiated respect. He stood his ground. He rocked Mike Tyson the first round with a beautiful uppercut. So there's mutual respect here on the chin of Tony Tucker. You know, something that could become a factor that you never thought would have been... Good hand speed by uh, Tony Tucker. In front of him, and he said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move, and I'll be firing. And guys, he just walked in directly in front of Tony Tucker. Tucker on, and that's why Tony's able to get those punches off. He should give him a little more head movement. Left, right, left, right. Be less of a target. There was a right hand in close by Tyson. So I think Tony Tucker has surprised a lot of people. Right hand by Tyson. Seven. You don't disagree with those I don't tactics. disagree at all because Tony's been tying his man up. Here you see Tucker backing up, catching Tyson on the way in with his long arms. And there, an uppercut. There was a good right hand by Tucker again. But they're uppercuts, Barry. Do you notice they're uppercuts? Again, we tied all well, in the corner of uh, Mike Tyson. Everyone said, we need to see combinations, not look for one punch. And that's where normally Tyson's able to get intensity in, in uh, Tony. Into Tucker. There you saw that he followed a right to the body that was an effective Ray Tucker. There was a big left hand by Tyson. And that was the one big punch. Energy by pushing a man off. Right hand by Tyson. Tie him up and break that rhythm. I haven't seen anybody be able to push him off. Press me with his foot move because I didn't expect that much from him. But the fact of the matter is, it's making matters very, very tough for Mike Tyson. Tyson looks right now like he's in it for the long haul here. And this is good fighting now that he's settled down. The great fighters don't go out looking for a quick knockout. The great fighters go out and fight. And when the opportunity for the big punch comes in, they take it. And there was a big right hand. Tucker says, no, no, I'm not hurt. I've always found that to mean I'm hurt. Another right hand. Got cute. I think he's watched my fight before. Yeah, I think he has too. I think his timing is not as good as yours. Another left hand. Okay, I like that in, in, in uh, Mike Tyson. the right hand by Tucker. I'm surprised there's not a lot of head movement from Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson seems to have gained control of the fight. When guys are in tremendous shape, it's very tough to see what, you know, to, to tell whether or not they're hurt or not. Oh, not whether he's going to win the mile race. That right hand seems to have hurt Tucker. His knees seem to buckle just a full second. Right hand up on the top of the head. 
Five rounds ago. Yes, you have to move that head in order to get inside and not be. Here we go. Here we go. Get him up, both of you. Come on. He's very susceptible to the uppercut. There's a right hand by Tucker that back Tyson off. Big left hand, but again, Tucker shakes his head. I'm okay. A lot of times, my left hook of Tyson's landed because penalize you. Let's do some punching. Jab now. A good, short, strong, fast left jab of Mike Tyson. And the reason for that is because of the way that Tony Tucker is approaching it has approached this fight, or the percentage of punches that are landed. Well, if in fact ring generalship is a key factor in judging a fight, I... Tony Tucker's right hand now is dropping, and that is asking... This jab can get him closer to the taller man, Tucker, and then he can throw his punches. Once again, though, you see what's happening here. That short jab, then step. Like that. Short jab, then step in. Get close. Now come. There was. That's what you have to do. That's what he has to do, brother. Not a jab that you use just to keep a man off of you. Both guys reaching in with their chins first. Tyson was a little short of Tucker's reach really throwing Tyson off. Not allowing him to get inside and be effective. The first round when he rocked Mike Tyson, he said, hey, I can punch too. Tyson's jab in the last three rounds has been effective in allowing him to get inside on Tony Tucker. That first fight, he got a cramp in his left arm in the first round, a knot actually formed, it was with him the whole fight. But there was a rumor about Tyson, or rather Tucker's right hand, that he had injured his right hand, and that's why he backed off training for the last few days. Once again, Tucker trying to get cute and mugging with Tyson, which brings the crowd alive. Well, when you do that, and I know from experience because I invented it, you got to be very careful. Well, in a fight of this intensity, this magnitude, when you're fighting, you really don't feel it because those drill is blowing and you don't feel the pain. He did throw a right uppercut there, which missed. Both that right and the left. 15 rounds, as we mentioned, we are, of course. What you do? You reverse the crowd's uh, approval. And the reason there's frustration is because of what Tucker's doing. He's tying his man up. Those little antics there sometimes work. I mean, he's fighting his fight. He's doing his thing. Come on, come on, go, let's do it! Tucker's fighting a great fight. An effective victory. It was interesting to hear Kevin Rooney in the corner saying, with these judges, you never know. you got to go out there and win this round big. He's done the best job he could, he could possibly do against a guy as mobile, hand speed, height, and reach advantage. Well, expert, I'm going to show you. And this is what he did tonight. And he has. Even if he loses the... Saying he had the big hat, and while maybe he didn't have all the cattle, at least he had a couple of cows. Crowd getting a little tired of that. He was he was a little intimidating. He would try to make me think that he was fresh and he was ready to go when he was not tired. I wasn't expecting him. That was a big left hand. Tucker says, "No, no, no, no. I'm all right. I'm all right." Tucker seems to be fighting the kind of fight that he thinks he's winning. And so is Tucker. It's over. Well, Tony Tucker talked the talk and walked the walk. 
Here is the decision of the judges. We have a unanimous decision. Judge Phil Newman scores 119, 111. Judge Julio Roldan scores 118, 113. And Judge Bill Graham scores 116, 112 for the winner by unanimous decision and undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, Iron Mike Tyson. Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He's wearing the white trunks with red trim and weighs 225 and three quarter pounds. From Easton, Pennsylvania, his professional record, 48 victories, only two defeats, 34 KOs. For seven and a half years, he ruled the division as an undefeated champion with 20 successful defenses. Tonight, he's the challenger, ladies and gentlemen, the man known as the Eastern Assassin, former heavyweight champion of the world, Larry Ho! <laughs> Wearing the solid black trunks, weighing 215 and three quarter pounds, from Catskill, New York, which is the home Hometown of the late great trainer of champions, Hasamato. His professional record, a perfect 32 and 0. 28 KOs, 23 KOs in four rounds or less, and 16 knockouts in the first round. Ladies and gentlemen, I present you the undefeated, undisputed, heavyweight champion of the world. I gave you both the rules in the dressing room. And remember what I told you, I'm here to enforce my rules. Obey my commands at all times. Any questions? All right, shake hands, good luck to both of you. Round one, the heavyweight championship of the world. Tyson quickly on top of Holmes and he nails him right away. Tyson showing no respect so far, boring in the way he always does. Larry not on offense at all so far. So far, and this is the first round. He's been strictly a defensive fighter in this the first round. Looking as though he's trying to survive this first round. Again, Tyson tries to put the pressure on Larry. Larry knows how to tie him up, and the bell ends round number two. Look at his face now that he had in the first round. Left hook caught him that time, though. Oh, first good right hand landed. was right at the bell. All right, that round after round. Oh, a big right hand, and down goes the former champion. He was there, right in the button. Watch it again, this is still the first knockdown, set up for the left. It was a beautiful right hand, the way it was executed, Barry, because he threw his jab, stepped inside, and delivered that overhand right. Definitely hurt, his legs are gone, and in comes Mike, it was a big right hand, Larry's nailed again! Down he goes! At this point, he was wearing Larry Holmes down. And here, Larry Holmes trying to tie up Mike Tyson, but Mike Tyson, with his incredible strength, he comes up with the right hand to the top of the head. I don't know if he'll be able to continue. It's up to four, and five, his eyes are clear. He should be hanging on. Now with the right hand, the left hand. He's gonna hang on, but he'll stop the fight. Down he goes, now he's hurt. Down the third knockdown. Larry's trying to use his arms, trying to cover up. Here at this point, referee should have stopped, stepped in, but I guess this respect of a champion of Larry Holmes' reputation. Holmes just being pummeled at this point. That right hand did a lot of damage. It's all over. He is knocked out. He didn't even bother the count. It was a vicious, vicious right hand. A big right hand. 
ends the career of the former champion of the world. Mike Tyson proved to the world that he certainly is. The end comes at two minutes, 55 seconds of the fourth round. The winner, and still the undisputed, undefeated, Out of the blue corner, he's wearing his boxing trunks and weighing 238 and one quarter pounds with a professional record of 24 victories, 15 by knockout, and only one defeat from Cincinnati, Ohio. He is the second ranked heavyweight in the world and a former heavyweight champion, ladies and gentlemen, the challenger, Tony TNT Wearing the solid black trunks and weighing 216 and one quarter pounds from Catskill, New York, which is the hometown of the late great trainer of champions, Customato. He brings a professional record of 33 victories without a loss, 29 KOs, including 25 KOs in five rounds or less and 15 in the first round alone. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the undisputed, the undefeated, Heavyweight champion of the world, Iron Mike Tyson! You both received instructions earlier in the day, and therefore you know the rule. I wish you both an off at all luck now. Return to your corners to await the starting bell. Good luck. Mercanti says they're all set, and there's the bell for round one. Tubbs throws the jab, and Tyson responds in kind. Well, you're right, Mike. From the handheld camera angle, which... A lot of fighters find it difficult to uh, set Mike Tyson up because Mike now simply try to survive with Tyson, as did Bone Crusher Smith and Mitch Green. Gives a lot of uh, head movement. I agree with that, Jim, because what happens, Tyson with his shorter arms and... But now it does not look that way of his opponent. Watch for the left hook by Mike Tyson. Into punching range. And you can begin to see the startling hand quickness that Tubbs brings. Well, here with Tubbs, the uppercut. I also know the uppercut of Mike Tyson. Tubbs trying to go downstairs to Tyson's body. Right to the killer kidney. Look for a looping right hand to throw it, throw it same punch twice on the nose. Tyson missed with the left hook. Dropping that left hand. One minute to go in round one. Tyson, because that's the punch I see that uh, Tubbs is vulnerable to. Tubbs landed a left and ducked away effectively. You know what you do, right there, and that's one of the mistakes he makes. Go in round one. The talking in Tubbs' corner was done by trainer Odell Hadley. So now Hadley and Rooney have had their minute, and round two begins. Which will give you a feel of what it looked like to us from ringside. Tubbs keeping that right hand up because of the left hook of Mike Tyson. But also, you notice now you see a much more relaxed self. Commented that he thought Tubbs fought a very effective first round and in fact scored the first round for Tubbs. So he could drop his right hand because in this corner they told him to drop the right hand. But the left hook lands, but he needs to come back with the right hand. Movement, never stationary target because what happens here when you become stationary The first round, that's the way you fight Mike Tyson, or compete with Mike Tyson, brother. There's the right hand, Jim, although I would have preferred to see a lot more movement, a lot more left jabs thrown. Because you have to give him angles, jab. You see the jab, how effective it is. Can't remain stationary. 
has Mustang. Tony acknowledged in talking with us, Ray, that you couldn't finesse Tyson completely. You have to be willing. You have to be willing, as he said, to fight him. Well, you saw that, that double punch with one hand. It's so devastating. Here he's going right to the midsection, and uh, I'm sure Tubbs felt those shots. The body shot, then the uppercut. Tubbs, again, made the mistake of trying to exchange, raises his chin up, and then the left hook comes into play. Good uppercut by Tubbs inside. Snap Tyson back a little. To, to the championship. That's the jab, the movement, and his boxing style. He's trying to use his additional weight. He has the shorter punches. He throws more combinations inside. Tony Tubbs so far appears in no way intimidated by Tyson's fury, as have so many of them. Good left hook, good, good combination by Tubbs. Open up, open up. But you also see the power of Mike Tyson because... There you saw Tubbs doing as he claimed he would try to do, delivering body shots to Tyson. Early now in round two. That was the punch against the ropes that really started things off. Bringing the strategy that Tony said he would bring. You've got to fight with Mike Tyson. Good left by Tyson. Tubbs real. Look at the short shots that Mike hits his opponents with. Good short left hooks to the head, right hooks to the head, and then he delivers that, that crunch and body shot. I thought the first round was a pretty good round for Tubbs. Good body shot, but you need combinations then. Combinations then. Get some respect from Mike Tyson. I love that combination there with the same punch, same hand. Both fighters have had their say here. I couldn't tell whether or not that punch hurt. Tubbs is hurt. Here, I see that uh, Tubbs is wobbly. Tubbs is hurt badly. It was a left hook. And it's over. Odell Hadley has jumped in the ring. The fight is over. With stunning swiftness. Well, Tyson now starting to find his range. The left hook there pretty much did spoke for itself. It's self-explanatory because it was a short and powerful left hook that put Tony Tubbs down. And here Mike still showing that he is a good finisher. Two minutes, 54 seconds of the second round. The winner by knockout victory. Now 34 consecutive victories. Still the undefeated, undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, Iron Mike Tyson. for the undisputed heavyweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the white trunks with black trim, and weighing in at 212 and one quarter pounds. He's originally from St. Louis, Missouri, now lives in Wilmington, Delaware. This Olympic gold medal champion has a professional record of 31 victories without a loss, 21 by knockout, he is the former undisputed and undefeated light heavyweight champion of the world and the only king of that division ever to win the heavyweight title in the history of boxing. Because he never lost that title in the ring, he is still recognized by many, including Boxing Illustrated and Ring Magazine, as the heavyweight champion. Ladies and gentlemen, the undefeated man who brings the jinx, Michael and fighting out of the red corner, wearing the solid black trunks and weighing 218 and one quarter pounds, originally from the streets of Brooklyn. He passed through the hometown of the late great trainer of champions, Custom Auto, Catskill, New York, and he now lives in North New Jersey. His professional record, 34 consecutive victories with 30 knockouts, including 26 KOs and five rounds or less, and 15 in the first round alone. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the undisputed, the undefeated, heavyweight champion of the world, Iron Mike Tyson. 
Now watch Tyson jump right into his chest. Ooh. Michael Spinks. Michael Spinks has to keep moving because every shot. Oh, the uppercut that's... landed. Well, I can't remember it much because it was just, a, it was so quick, a right hand. But my main objective was to come out here and take him out. Put the right possible. hand to the body. Put the right hand to the body. Yeah, a, right, a left uppercut and a right to the body. My producer is telling me in my ear is that what started uh, the beginning of the end. You have means of landing it on the target. And he didn't hit me with one punch. Inside and Spinks went down. Uh, it was the left uppercut. Spinks has ever been down in a professional fight. And he's down again. Michael Spinks started out pretty slow. And here we see Tyson, as usual, going to the body. A great uppercut that sent Mike, Michael Spinks to the canvas. Serious trouble. A right hand right on the chin. He's not going to make it. It's all over. WBC heavyweight champion of the world. There is only one Frank Bruno. Huge reach advantage, and here we go, round one. I'll tell you what, if I was built like Frank Bruno, I wouldn't be afraid of anybody or anything. But Mike Tyson is a phenom. A lot of problems as to whether Tyson's going to come bobbing and weaving. He's certainly coming. What you're going to see is Frank Bruno grab Mike when he comes in like that. Every time. Every time he comes in, he's an older. He's not going to let Mike do what Mike wants to do with the jab to keep Tyson away. He does not like to fight on the inside generally. Un abnormal strength, unnatural. He is a walking powerhouse. Tyson's trainer, Jay Bright, said he's concerned about keeping Tyson under control of the belt. He'll be very anxious. Hey, hey, hey. Bruno continues to hold and hit. Quit grabbing. Come on. Quit grabbing, says Mills Lane. Tyson's people wanted to bob and roll. Be less of a target attack from the angles. His ferocity, they can stop worrying. He is fierce tonight. Frank Bruno, that's the first one he felt the steam. Five rounds, I guarantee you. Oh, a left hook by Mike Tyson. Flush on the face of Frank Bono. Another left and a combination by Tyson. Didn't land clean, but there's more behind that. Mike threw a nice counter right hand. Didn't seem to do anything, but it was a nice effort. And any time, oh, here comes Tyson. Tyson with a combination. Here you see where Tyson wobbles him with a big right hand. Right on the button. And this is what Bruno expected. He said he's not looking for the Tyson to fought McKinley. Here's a combination uppercut by Tyson. Eight and on, Corey and on. Down goes Bruno. Take a look of how Tyson took care of business. Ducked under a shot under the arm in the legs, and from here on out, a rain of punches, which buckled Frank Bruno until he was helpless. If you let Mike Tyson get that kind of leverage with that right uppercut, you will not make it through the round. Never mind the fight. He is a finisher par excellence, and he finished tonight. And Frank Bruno had no chance. A ferocious display by Mike Tyson. You would see the knees buckle if we had a bigger angle. Bruno is out, and now it's just a matter of pummeling and finishing the job. The coup de grace, done. The current WBA heavyweight champion of the world, introducing Bruce Seldon. Yeah. Together, here we go, round one. Scheduled for 12, and Tyson comes right out, right into Bruce Seldon. Bruce has used that jab, but already got hit with a hook. Nice long rest there, but he has felt. Back comes Seldon. All right, now Mike's coming in. He senses the kill. There's the left hook. Bruce goes back to the ropes and down. The crowd is booing. I hear him in the background. I'll tell you why they're booing, Steve. They don't believe those are legitimate shots for heavyweight champions to be knocked out with, and I have to somewhat agree. I don't think... You know, Bruce represented a good quality heavyweight type chin there. See if at last 
year in which Garcia died. We'll see if he's overly cautious. And as expected, by so him. As expected, he's so strong that it's unbelievable how much it's how, how difficult it is to move, Mike. How will Holyfield respond to these early brawling tactics? A straight right hand, a quick right by Tyson. No one's ever been able to do it. It might be something different. And he's also trying to catch him coming in. That's that's the game plan, but he's getting hit off the hard. The crowd behind Holyfield. Tyson missing with that straight right. Good defensive maneuver by Evander Hartman. Evander settling this down. The strategy of Frank Bruno. And when they get close, tie him up for sure and tie him up right away. But Evander's a warrior. He will fight. Left hook. Holyfield with a combination to Tyson's head. You know what? And there you saw Evander Holyfield throw a nice body shot. I'll tell you what, the crowd thought that Mike was hurt. This Mike was a good shot. A combination by Holyfield to the head of Tyson. Look out, look out. Watch the time that he hits him. That's a straight shot. That's landed very well. That, that miss there. The moving uh, Holyfield. He's not moving Holyfield back. It's just not his fight. As we head for the bow. connected several times in round one but Tyson was able to duck under a number of others the Holyfield's coming close a lot we've been wondering oh take a look at that right hand by Tyson right on the button you know we're gonna take a look at that because he makes a nice slip Evander is fighting the fight but what he's doing is kind of smart he's trying to smother Mike Mathis. Mathis survives with a life raft around him this guy is fighting the fight Mike's head is most dangerous. That just lasted until the third round. He'll bend down, he'll spring there, and he'll fire a big shot. There's a big right hand over the top. Every time we get close, he can't fight inside with Mike. I don't think anybody can. Holyfield kicking to the body with a right uppercut. And you know what kind of heart and what kind of competitor he is. Clinging to Holyfield. Mitch Halpert had to break them apart again. Wild miss by Tyson. Vicious left hook there by Tyson, but it was warded off nicely by Holyfield. Again, something unusual. Oh, a straight left hand by Holyfield. It's been Tyson holding on. Holyfield also showing more hand speed. It's going to be a long night with all this country. Past the midway mark of round three. It's, uh, it, you know, it's, it's just going to be long. Holding every time they get close, and they get close a lot. Because the Vayner's not retreating. He's not running. Right. Uppercuts in the process. While, while he's doing it, he's punching. Yes. I mean, he's look at look at that. And I remember very clearly back in '91, it was the tail end of my honeymoon in November 8th. This will be a real attrition battle. We approach the final 10 seconds of round number three. <laughs> Looks the counter punch off the swinging miss. We'll see what happens here, round four. It's the longest it's gone since. But Holyfield getting the better of that duel. And you're looking at it right here. Holyfield has legitimized this fight. He's made it a championship fight. And momentum. Genius. That left hook by Tyson was blocked by Holyfield. Let him have some around. Good combination. Fast. Out him. That's only getting one shot in. Tyson looking very frustrated now. Ooh. Says to Tyson, work the body. Was he hurt the body? Uh, if ever he has a chance, he has a chance right now. Vander's hurt. Organizing Tyson. He's keeping him out of his attack. Quickly tying him up as he comes in. That's Overall strength is going to be a big factor with this type of fight, too. If Vander can't keep wrestling with Mike all day, that got Vander's attention and good. Tyson unleashing uppercuts to the body, digging to the chain. Look at the leverage, the bend in his legs. It's beautiful. That's how Mike generates that tremendous power. He, his order, but but Tyson's force, the, the force of his blow oh, is changing everything. Short left hook by Tyson, right? Left hook to the chin, I'll tell you what. By Tyson, but a glancing blow. Back comes Holyfield. He knows what he has to do. It's just a matter of getting it done and finding the timing. It's a move by Tyson. Ducks under the right hook by Holyfield. Tyson. And Evander has the reach. He should use that up that jab more. 
only once in 46 fights. Mike Tyson with a straight right hand, but it wasn't flush. Well, the power stuff is coming on now. Starting to get a little bit weak from the pressure and the power and the strength of Mike Tyson. I think the power. Round five was a good one for Tyson. The crowd a little quieter as a result. For the first four rounds. But that's a big left hook. Watch the head, man. Watch the head. Come on. After four rounds, they go to the score cards on an accidental foul. Now, both wailing oh, away. Oh, and came back. Cut. Not looking good. Above the left eye of Mike Tyson. So now a sack. Oh, there he is. Oh, down goes Tyson. Now, now the knockdown is a surprise, I think, everybody. It's a shot in the chest, Ferdinand. You know, he hit him with a level in the check. It was a balance shot. Evander Holyfield is letting it all hang out. Seven in the sixth round, Holyfield put is Tyson again after the end of the fourth round. They go to the scorecards in terms of an accidental foul. Now keep in mind the cut far and from it. some and then some. Stop, it's stop, a difficult stop. type of fight when you have that all that physical grappling going on. Tyson fights at such a frantic pace, and you're part of that out. Look out now. The legs of Tyson when they come together. Now, see, they both came together. Nobody, see, see, look at that. Look at that. He's going to need all the help he can get in there now. You know, as Mike comes rushing in, Evander ducks his head to not catch a shot with his head up in here. Evander's fighting one of those smart fights like a big shot. Tyson is confused, frustrated. He unleashed a flurry there, but Holyfield comes. Evander Holyfield start to wear out as he does in all fights. If that's the case, that may be the only chance. He, he comes down, look at that, right through. I mean, when's the last time you saw Tyson getting smashed that clearly? Ferdy, what he's doing is he's grabbing Mike and he's getting a rest when he wants to. He's, he's not being good. forced to work. He's getting a good rest. Go to the pass. What tools to bring to a fight? And he's proving it again here. Look at this toe to toe action. Heavyweight fight for the first time in a long time. He must be wondering what have I got to do to get this guy. It's a nice right hand by Mike, but he's not falling. See, end of the fight. Point where he, either he gets a knockout or he's going to win this fight. A right hook followed by a left by Holyfield. And well, Mike is getting to that little level where he might need a knockout. I don't know what the judges are looking at. I don't it is know. Mike Tyson, that left hook on Holyfield. First real signs. Oh, a straight right combination by Holyfield. Holyfield looking to air it out. Holyfield's on the road. He's taking a shot. He's going for it. Oh, Tyson's in trouble. Time. You can see that's the one that did it. See, as he, can't, as he came in, that's what they've been saying. Field smothers Tyson. Looking to put Tyson down and end the fight. Tyson is not in trouble. He's saved by the bell. It's round 11. And now here we go. Mike Tyson is a warrior too. And he's going to have, he's still going to have that natural power. In the purple trunks, Evander Holyfield. Holyfield continues to dig in. A left hook to the head. He's got Tyson in trouble. Tyson's ready to go. It's the most unbelievable thing I've ever been privileged to witness. He weighed in at 233 pounds with a record of 39 wins, one loss, one no contest. He has 24 wins coming by way of knockout. He is currently ranked the number two heavyweight contender by the IBF. Here is the former IBF heavyweight champion of the world, known as the White Buffalo, the White introducing Francois Botha. Yes. You've both been champions before, so I expect for you to conduct yourself as champions. Opinion, let's see what he, what he does. The bell for round one. Franz both the tactics, and if this pace is fast, which Mike knows no other way, I want to see how he can rounds two, three, and four if we get that far. And there is a lot of head movement on the part of Mike Tyson here. Tyson being very patient. Chaos after the first round. Now they pick it up in round two. Tyson screaming at Richard Steele. Yeah, we're going to look and see if we can see why this guy... What an ugly start to this fight. Well, yeah, this one was more Bolton than Tyson. Either. This is going to be a dance. Yeah. 
Bone Crusher Smith did it, survived, didn't get hurt, got paid. Both is going to do the same thing. Both are being warned for the hold. If I read the rule book, you'll find that holding for no reason is a foul. It has a little bit of timidity when it comes to coming forth because there's fire in Mike Tyson's eye. There's fire. Should have just jabbed in and threw. Right hand by uh, Tyson sent both back, but it was off the shoulder. Now a left by being disrupted. He's losing his pull. Get all that. This, this is, a fight. is an alley fight, a straight fight. This is the kind that, that uh... the tactics by both. They can't win that one. Round three. Come on, baby. and uh, and both have won the first round. So this is interesting. What we got here is interesting. Clearly, most people thought that Tyson would come out. Tyson slips in both his corner over the logo and would overwhelm Franz Botham. A former fighter and knowing the game, as a referee, I've seen many of them take a point away for excessive holding. Then Both has got to fight. I've been fighting because he's getting off more punches and he's landing more. Tyson is being out jabbed. Hugging and moving around has to be taking tolls on both fighters. Starts to pop. This is Boy, clearly not the strategy Bova said. That should pop your eardrum for you. Using his weight to bowl. Will he be patient? Stay out of harm's way. The Mike's got a fire. Oh, good right hand by Francois Botha. He's toying with Tyson. Who ever thought we'd see this? And the crowd reacts. And loves it. I'll tell you what, I don't like fighters that just... It's illegal in the rule book if you re research it. It's points deducted. It's a non-combative posture. And... Oh, no, no. But, Bobby, this is not a holding round. This guy is just walking around. Both are getting off first, and Tyson not countering, not taking advantage. Pull him back. No, no. Again, he looks over to steal. Takes his eyes off his opponent. Pull him back, Mike. Pull your arms back. Well, this one's going to be ugly and long. If, it, if it's long, it will be ugly. One of the power Tyson shots that we've hit, seen him hit, hit people. Not Why once. Now you go. Tries to open it up, does Tyson. And holds so he recovers. To say something to Tyson. As both of tries to get this into the later rounds, it's round five. Listen, both is ahead right now. It's, it's Tyson who's got to worry, not both of them. I think the crowd was just rallying up behind action. Yeah. Mountain of white flesh here. I mean, as soon as he punches, this guy just smothers him. Ring rust showing here awful lot. This is not even half of Tyson. Tyson ate two right hands there, not too good. Both are with his hands way down by his side. This is Michael Moore in the 11th round. But he's, he's got a punch with both. Now, now again. But Tyson just showing no speed whatsoever. I mean, that is a mark of a shot fighter when you can't get all punches. If, oh, a right hand. Right hand. Down goes both up. It's a short, chopping right hand. There it is. Right on. You look at the body. He turns his body into this punch. His hips, his shoulders from the floor up. Mike steps into him. Bang. He turned his whole body, his hip, his legs. Eight, nine. Can he make it? It's over. It's over. Mike Tyson has returned. The Lubbock, Texas. He weighed in at a ready 218 pounds. His record stands at 50 wins, five losses, one no decision, with 27 wins coming by way of knockout. Please welcome the former WBA Cruiserweight Champion of the World, introducing uh, Orland, Night Train uh, Norris. Spoke to you both in the dressing room. I'm cautioning again, obey my commands at all times. Keep all of your punches in front of the man. Watch the low blows. Shake hands and good luck. Controversial referee, the third man, and here we go. The bell for round one, and Tyson comes right out with a straight left. Both are heavily muscled in the same muscle types. 
Good left hook to the belly by Mike Tyson right there. Tyson going to the body. At least Mike is trying to jab more than he did in the other fights. Like he always did. Not at all intimidated by the moment. Not at all. Heavy right hands, a series of rights to the head and body by Mike Tyson. It's a straight left hand there by uh, Mike Tyson, and then he follows it up with a combination and a right uppercut. For the bell. That was a punch uh, while they were talking. that again because it almost looked to me like if it was at the same time as him saying break and the punch going time now. well now this is politics now so you're right there in your knee and you can't continue no, no. That, that's it it's me you can't continue his head and he cannot continue oh man I can't make him continue you know what this i can't reminds make me. him continue now he goes over to the executive director of the nevada athletic commission mark Rapp. Uh -oh. Now there's a lot of scurrying in the ring. And at the time, watch Tyson's arm. Here he is. See? Oh, it's oh, buckled. Cold. Yeah. You can see his leg buckled as he went down. <laughs> oh, right! Oh, he definitely hit him after the Another bell. night, another Tyson night. Give me your view of what happened. Did you throw the punch after you heard the bell? Well, you know, you were there. You saw it. It was simultaneous with the bell. And the punch wasn't that devastating. He could have continued. He quit on his stool. But I'll take him again in my next fight. I'll fight him right away. Well, let's fight him in December. I'd love to. All right. Let me ask you something. How can a blow to the jaw hurt his knee? Listen, <laughs> all right? I you, he knew the next round I was going to put that heat on him. And he wasn't ready for that heat. Oh, right. You're ready for a good fight. You're ready to come back in December against anybody. I feel great, and I just want to continue to fight one fight at a time and fight around four more fights and fight for the championship. Yes, sir. The reality of the situation is um, <clears throat> he could have got up and continued exactly. to fight. Exactly. I put that heat on him, and he didn't want to continue. I was hearing all this stuff. He's a tough guy. He's not going to lay down. He's not like anybody exactly. else. He's going to come to fight. He's a good box. And he didn't. Listen, to fight me alone, I don't care what him. Whatever you say about me, good or bad, you got to have heart to even get in the ring with me. Exactly. You know, the, and what he just... Um, the way he conducted himself, he should, be, he should feel bad about himself. He should feel disgraced about himself. And the real fighter fights they can't fight no more. Many times when I fought Buster Douglas, I could have quit that fight. When I fought the Holyfield the first time, I could have quit that fight. I took my beating like a man. Norris got up. He walked back to his corner very nicely. There was no limping, no thing. His corner was caught on tape saying, stay down, stay down. Anyone who's competitive of any kind of sort, sports, business, anyone who's competitive, no. If, if you're able to continue, you continue, even if your leg is fractured, broken, anything. If you're a competitor, you continue. And he wasn't in that bad a shape um, not to um, continue. And I'm just, I'm just tired of it. I, I really don't even want to fight no more. I'm just tired of all this <laughs> really. Fighting action behind the jab, Steve. That's key. It's one of the keys he's talked about working on. And Francis going... Maybe Mike wants to take it and work a couple rounds. Digging body shots by Mike Tyson. Short shot. Round two. Mike just stuffs a jab. Just stuffs a power. Seven. Eight. He's game. He gets up at eight. Into round two. He's been down three times. How much more punishment? Oh. There's a left up. Knows he's got him in trouble. He's going to head in. Makes a beautiful adjustment. Right hand to the body and a left hook up. Left hook, sort of uppercut. I think we'll give him one more, but that's going to be it. Fifth time, and that's it. It's waved off. It's all over here in round two. And he was absolutely destroyed by the first punch that Tyson landed. High on the head. Bang, Top down the he head, went. Right on the, on the corner. And that's, that's a very dangerous place to hit someone. And that disorientates your whole body when you get hit there. Yeah. That's it again. And you said then, Frank, on the corner of his head. Yes. <laughs> what are you trying to say? Called him right there on the temple. <laughs> Went across him. The first one. First punch. First punch called him. Well. 
It's that all over shortly. Next punch. That was quicker than he put um, Julius Francis oh, down. Yeah. That uppercut. Yeah. And he was that hurt. Uppercut, that uppercut actually missed. Yeah. But that punch called him there. The body punch called him there. Right. Now that That's definitely the one. called him. He was him. on his way down, and wasn't he? Oh, he's got it. It's all over. It's all it's over. Again. He's stopping it. He's finished. It's finished. It's finished. And the referee's trying to stop the fight. Yeah. Tyson's still fighting. He's not the referee down. He's not the referee down. He's still trying to throw punches. Can't believe this. This is mayhem. And well, Tyson just realised it's all over. And you squirrels trying to stop it. Tyson didn't hear the referee's instructions. Continued to hit Savarese. Incredible. Champion of the world, Lennox
Pinto.
times in 26 fights. And the Black Rhino get Tyson's respect right away and set the tone. Tyson's going for everything. Tyson looking to end this on one punch, Steve. Former heavyweight champion of the world, the future Hall of Fame legend, Roy Jones Jr. Esta guerra y aquí nos vamos para Latinoamérica en vivo por ESPN Knockout. Hay que verlo venir. Ha comenzado. Cuidadito. Oh. Buen jab de no. Roy Jones. Salieron, salieron con todos los dos. Salieron con todos los dos. Aquí no hay de que se pusieron de acuerdo. ¿Quién levanta la mano? Nada de exhibición. No, no, no. El movimiento para Roy Jones. El ataque de Tyson al cuerpo. Ya, desde ya. Otra vez conectándolo allí. Manos abajo para Roy Jones. Habitual para él. El movimiento. Oh, cuidadito con la mano izquierda. Dice, él es el que me está agarrando, dice Roy Jones. Vuelve a intentarlo con el jab. No hemos visto la derecha de Roy Jones hasta ahora. Y es el de grandeza en el ring. Otra, Fernando Barbosa, nuestro juez internacional del Consejo Mundial de Boca. Bueno, en realidad fue un, un round eh, algo cerrado de... Roy. Mike Tyson, el hombre de artes marciales, buen engancho de izquierda a través de Iron Mike. Justamente le pidieron en la esquina Cordeiro, doble izquierda. Aquí estamos viendo uno de los mejores. Roy Jones. ¡Uy! Oh, la derecha tremenda y cruzada para Mike Tyson. Esa se quita el primero, pero difícilmente el segundo. Y metido en el medio del cuadrilátero Mike, a corta distancia. Y lo busca, el movimiento para... Dando mucho aire, ¿no? El, el más joven, en este caso Roy Jones. Otra mano izquierda. Oh. Este cuerpo también, Tyson, Mike Tyson, Roy Jones, Fernando Barbosa, tu tarjeta en el segundo. Roy Jones tratando de puntear un poquito con ese jab, pero yo creo que no le alcanza para ganar ese efectivo 10-9 Tyson en el segundo. Y Mike Tyson mueve la cintura, el picabú. ¡Uy! ¡Oh, la derecha! Nosotros, gracias. Cuidado que trabajar, dice. 50 segundos para culminar el tercero. No se encuentra Roy Jones en el ring. El pendiente, Rey Corona nuevamente para. Ahí. Salida, Titan tratando de conectar. Se va a terminar el tercero. Ahí en cortito se fue Mike. Izquierda de Mike, atentos. Y es Mike. La mitad del combate. Ver cómo estuvo el tercero para ti. ¿Sabes? La única forma para Roy Jones poderle ganar a Tyson es haciendo eso: mantenerlo a, a distancia y llaveando. Pero ha habido mucho más y, y me imagino que relamiéndose los bigotes de Van der Holyfield, ¿no? No le está dando hasta el momento. Y bueno, pues Mike Tyson tiene una facilidad para acercarse al fuego. Y dentro de los amarres, el que saca mejor provecho es Tyson. 10-9, Tyson. Buen trabajo el cuerpo con el jab. Oh, come on. Pues ahí está de Mike Tyson y ahí está. Ahora. Que no le ponga la oreja cerquita, eh. Yo le jugué, chaval. <risa> Último segundo del asalto número 4. Esto es ganancia. 
El doble llave a corta rápido la distancia Mike Tyson. Ahora soltando un poquito más de combinaciones Roy Jones No, realmente Tyson lanzando y aterrizando ligeramente lo más efectivo Con algunas combinaciones efectivas Sobre todo el cuerpo División Fer Contra Cal Smith Aquí en ESPN Knockout A todo México Ya del, a ver si les quitan el boleto A ver qué espectáculo A una pelea intrigante Con muchas horas de vuelo ya decíamos un peleador Espectacular en su momento, no es su rival cualquiera. Oh, oh, Buena mano izquierda, es oportunidades de esquina. Le decía, puedes seguir como te sientes. Otro round más, trabajo el cuerpo abajo, abajo. Con, con su alma. Roy Jones, <risa> pues ya, mente ese ya, izquierda. Ahora lo pone a tambalear. El destello, Cuidado que Mike. El destello de esa cintura, ¿no? Aparece. Esa pegada devastadora en un momento, otra vez mágica. con la izquierda. Nada de sangre, ¿no? No ha habido motivo para parar esto. Buena izquierda por parte de Tyson. Otra vez y vamos con todo. Buena y venimos. Terminó el quinto con mucha acción. Y vuelve al ataque el toro Mike Tyson. Todo el minuto con los ojos cerrados Tratando de agarrar un poco de aire Roy Jones Intervenir El amarre, el recargue de cuerpo Pues un descansito, ¿no? Un pescadito Uh, made a mess Trying to make him pay Look at the way he cut the angle on that Pasa la cerca Ese golpe de Mike Tyson Los movimientos de impulso A los costados para venir Con el veneno y los bajaron a dos. Sí, ya no tiene esa movilidad y por eso... Vean. Últimos 10. Amaga Mike. Y... Por lo menos eso es lo que nos muestra con esos movimientos, vean. La ¿Dónde estaba este Roy Jones? Y tiene que... Esperábamos ver destellos de ambos, pero creo que disfrutamos un poco más de Iron Mike Tyson. Sigue siendo insistente Mike. Otra vez. A Roy Jones Jr., sexto, 10-9. Les ha sorprendido lo que hemos visto de Mike Tyson, sin duda, ¿no? Sí, sobre todo que se le ve en una buena condición. No, no, no. no han salido con contemplaciones. Vuelve el trabajo al cuerpo. Mike Tyson Jr. Decían a Mike Tyson. Pega y mueve la cintura, ¿eh? Bien, Mike. ¿Cómo no? Destellos. Aquí se va a venir el campanazo. ¿En qué sentido, chava? ¿Que vienen más? Que vamos a volver a ver a Mike Tyson. Sí, pues yo creo que vienen más. Yo también. Todo bien físicamente. Ha quedado peor Roy Jones. A mí me parece bien que en esta etapa de sus vidas dos grandes campeones reciban un lindo chequecito. Parado, ¿eh? Sí, sí. Hay que tener los arrestos que están recibiendo hoy a la noche. Y poniendo el ejemplo, Fer. Poniendo el ejemplo, mira, mira, haciendo deporte. De y demás. Cuidado con una patada. <risa> Hacia atrás, agotado y Mike Tyson en movimiento. Ahí está la doble mano izquierda que siempre tuvo. 35 para terminar el combate. Se está acabando la pelea. Vuelve Mike Tyson. Ver explosión, esfuerzo. Todo esto. A ver, vámonos. Vámonos. Nos vamos a ir a las tarjetas de los jueces. Y hasta aquí.